Hello, welcome to this video. So, before we look at this problem, again, uh, like with the virtual whiteboard, I'm changing things up a bit and <clears throat> going back to the real life form. So, now let's look at this problem. So, we have this series A1, <clears throat> A2, A3, and all the way on to infinity is an increasing uh, function or a series, I should say, and is made up from natural numbers. So each one of those numbers <clears throat> cannot be something like negative two, a half, square root of two. No, all natural numbers, one, two, three, four, and so on. Where a of a of k is equal to three k. Now, uh, this might not be that clear, so let's just give an example. If we have, uh, for example, k is equal to 4 and a of k is equal to 5, then, all right, then we have a of 4 is equal to 5, obviously, because we just plug uh, 4 into this. Uh, but we also get, by this rule, that a of a of k, so a of a of k, and a of k is equal to 5, meaning that this is equal to a of 5 <coughs> is equal to 3 times k, which is 3 times 4, which is 12. So that's just an example uh, for it in case uh, this rule wasn't uh, clear. Now let's move on <coughs> to the actual goal that we have, which is to find what is a of a hundred. Okay. Now, first of all, this if this is an increasing function and is <clears throat> all natural numbers, that means that a one is smaller than all of the other terms in the sequence. Or, if we uh, find some term in the sequence, we know that it has to be smaller than or equal to uh, a1, in case uh, it is itself equal, <coughs> is a1. And we can actually find term uh, a term in the series, uh, by just plugging k is equal to 1 uh, in here. So, uh, when we plug k is equal to 1, we get a of a of 1. And because, of course, a1 is a natural number, a of a of 1 is a term in the sequence, is equal to 1 times 3, which is 3. Which means that 3 must be bigger than or equal to a1. Okay, now let's uh, just check these cases because there aren't that many. a1 is equal to 1, a1 is equal to 2, and a1 is equal to 3. So, when a1 is equal to 1, uh, we get, by our rule, that a of a of 1, which is a1 again, is equal to 3. And a1, uh, by our guess, is also equal to 1, which is clearly not true. If we, uh, let's jump and move on to a1 is equal to 3. Uh, we get that a of a of 1, which is all, a of 3, 
is also equal to 3, which again, by our guess, is equal to a1. But because this is an increasing function or series, then a3 must be bigger, bigger than a1, and this cannot uh, be an option. And what we're left with is that a1 is equal to 2. And a1 is equal to 2 works out perfectly. a1 is equal to 2. We plug it in here. We get that a2 is equal to 3. And there's no problem with that. So, uh, we won't uh, really be using the fact that a2 is equal to 3. But we have established that a1 is equal to 2. So let's clean this up a bit and continue. Okay, we've established that a1 is equal to 2. And now uh, we will prove generally uh, as a guess at first, and it's a guess, that a of 3 to the n, with n being a natural number of course, so a of uh, any power of 3 is, exact, is exactly 2 times that power of 3. Uh, or in other words, when n is a natural number, a of 3 to the n is equal to 2 times 3 to the n. And uh, we'll prove that by induction. So, uh, first of all, base case. And I shouldn't say really n is a natural number, more like n is a non-negative integer, because n can uh, still equal to zero, which is our base case. So first of all, like I said, n is equal to zero is our base case. Three to the zero is one, so we get a one. n is equal to exactly two times uh, this power of three, which is one, which is two. And we established that that is true, and so our base case is true, and we can move on. Now, let's look at the actual hard part of an induction, which is sh uh, showing this case that this works for n plus 1. So, we need to show that a of 3 to the n plus 1 is equal to 2 times 3 to the n plus 1. And by the way, if you don't know what induction is, it's just a way of uh, proving mathematical statements. I made an entire, uh, an entire video talking about induction, what it is, and giving some examples. So if you don't know what that is, uh, check, uh, make sure to check it out. Okay? Now, we need to prove this, given only this. So, let's see. First of all, uh, I will use our claim to uh, use uh, to prove another thing. So, because a of 3 to the n is equal to 2 times 3 to the n, I could do a of to each side to get a of 2 times 3 to the n, or 2 times the power of 3, is equal to a of a, of 3 to the n, which is 3 times and this 3 to the n, which gives us 3 times 3 to the n, or 3 to the n plus 1. So this comes directly from our rule and our claim. Okay, now uh, let's see. <clears throat> how uh, we can do this. Again, uh, all we really have to do is <clears throat> do the exact same thing. A of on each side to get that A of 3 to the n plus 1, which is uh, what we want to find, is equal to A of this. So we get A of A of 2 times 3 to the n, which, by a rule, again, is 3 times this exact expression, 
which will be 2 times 3 to the n plus 1. And that is exactly what we wanted to get. a of 3 to the n plus 1 is equal to 2 times 3 to the n plus 1. Uh, uh, so, uh, meaning that we finished up our proof of induction, and uh, we found out that this is always true. Of course, when n is a natural number. And another thing that came from that is something that we used uh, in the middle of our proof, which is that a of 2 times 3 to the n is equal to 3 to the n plus 1 which directly comes uh, from what we just proved. So again, let's clear the board, write what we found out so far, and finish uh, this proof up. Okay, <clears throat> now let's see, on the last board we, uh, we proved these two facts. Let's see what we can do. So, uh, uh, now I will uh, replace n here with uh, four, uh, and that uh, really comes from the intuition that a uh, we want to find a of a hundred, and a hundred is perfectly in between three to the fourth and two times three to the fourth, and, and because we will know uh, both of these uh, values exactly, we might somehow be able to find the value of a uh, of a hundred, which is between them. Okay, uh, let's write that down. So, what we get from this is, then we, if we plug in 4, like I said, we get that a of 3 to the 4th, which is 81, is 2 times 81, which is 162, and uh, a of 2 times 3 to the 4th, which is a of 162, is equal to 3 to the 5th, which is 243. Okay, now uh, we've established this, and let's look uh, at uh, what we know actually. So we know that this uh, series is increasing, so that's a given, and is made up from natural numbers meaning that the min, uh, minimal uh, difference between uh, two uh, values uh, near each other, two neighboring values uh, in the series is 1. Or in other words, a of m plus 1 minus a of m is bigger than or equal to 1 which uh, means <clears throat> that, I'll, just th I'll let uh, you figure out exactly why, but we can say that this gives us that a of n minus a of m is bigger than or equal to n minus m. And moreover, if this is in fact an equality, uh, equality that a n minus a m is n minus m, then all of those differences of uh, a m minus one minus a m, a m plus two minus a m plus one are all equal to one, no bigger than or equal. Uh, so in other words, uh, a n minus a m is bigger than or equal to n minus m gives us that for any k uh, bigger than or equal to m but smaller than n uh, we know uh, about this that a of k plus 1 minus a k is exactly equal to 1. Again this is sort of homework for you to figure out. It's not uh, that hard to see, though. Okay, now uh, let's use uh, this with these two uh, values that we uh, uh, just now found. So, 
in this case, n is equal to 162, and m is equal to 81. And we get that a of 162 minus a of 81 is equal to 243 minus 162, which is exactly 81, which is 162 minus 81. <clears throat> and by our rule, that means that for any k bigger than or equal to 81, but smaller than 162, and we know that in this difference, a k plus 1 minus a k will always exactly equal 1. And uh, what we can do is use it on k is equal to 99, 98, 97, and so on until 81. And then, uh, I'll, I'll let you think about it a bit, uh, but when we add all of those up, we'll get a telescoping series, uh, which will uh, <clears throat> collapse down to A of 100 minus A81, and uh, all of the terms that we added up, there are exactly uh, 100 minus 81 of them, or <clears throat> exactly 19 of them. So that gives us A100 minus A81. Again, <clears throat> this part is uh, uh, mostly about homework. Uh, uh, that you do in your own, but it's not that hard to figure out. Okay? Now we just replace A81 uh, with our value that we found. So we get that A of 100 minus 162 is equal to 19. And uh, from that follows that A of 100 is equal to 162 plus 19, which is 181. And that's it. If you uh, like, like this content, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more uh, problems like this in the future. And finally, that's it.